Hello, good evening. Welcome to my channel, Anarchon World Explorer TV. Now, maybe you will get surprised that we will be mixing up this one with another food on the table. As you can see, as you who are my avid fan follower here in this channel, we have our music and also the latest development that we have been following with the new administrations under Isco Morena, Yormi, as we commonly see nowadays. And we keep blogging and we keep following on that one, then we are mixing it up. Then, due to the request of uh, many of our followers, we are mixing up this one with tutorial educations. Now, for the benefits of everybody, those at home or those who have sons or daughters who will be learning about mathematics, this will be your opportunity to learn uh, a hands-on, a direct approach in learning mathematics. There are so many uh, disciplines that deals about mathematics. We have algebra, we have uh, trigonometry, we have geometry, we have solid mensuration, differential calculus, integral calculus, linear equation, goes to the advanced engineering mathematics. You know, some parts may say that I hate mathematics. Some also will say I love mathematics. Now, there's no brainer for that one that it takes or required to get a genius when you are taking any majoring uh, courses that deals with mathematics. But as we can suggest, as we recommended, that you have to learn the basic fundamentals about mathematics. You cannot escape that one. When you first, when you are born, until this time when you are departed on this world, mathematics plays an important role in our lives. You can see, hate it or love it. This is what we can do in this one. So come with me on that one. We'll be dealing this one to the most enjoyable and fun learning about mathematics. First, we will go on and discover about, we will evaluate about what is algebra. We'll see intermediate and college algebra. Before we go on on that one, let's see about the primary concept. The prerequisites about learning algebra. Now, you see here on this blackboard, in this whiteboard, we see how about the primary concept. Now we have the real numbers, integers and rational number exponents. We will be dealing also with factoring. Polynomials. How about polynomials? We will uh, learn it after we have true with this one with P1, P2, and P3. After polynomials, we'll be discovering what is a rational expression. Then after, we'll go with the rectangular coordinate systems and graphs. Now let's focus this one about real numbers. Guess, as you know, real numbers. How do you define real numbers? Real numbers, particularly this one, is defines as, it classifies as, it says one, in our everyday life, there's a question about how old are you? What age? Then how many are you in the family? Would you require them? Would you answer them back? How do you answer them? By giving them with the number. Of course, how many are you in the family? You say, we are four see two boys and two girls then that way you will be dealing also with mathematics okay so real numbers age also how many kilometers 
when a light railway train travel from Monumento to Baclaran, how many it will take time, how many kilometers per hour it will take. Then it pertains about real numbers. You see, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 2 hours, that's real number. Now, real numbers Real numbers is composed on the subsets of natural numbers. And we have also the whole numbers on that one. And we have the integers. Shall we say, if we were going to denote A and letter B. A and B. Now, in a linear graph coordinate systems, we can see this one that A and B if it is a real number, we will see its relationship. Now, <clears throat> if we will say that that one in the graph, for example, in this plane, we are going to get this one from the positive direction. See this one as x. So you are going this one with 1, 2, 3 on the positive side. Now, if we say that one that if it is A going to B, and we don't know on this one the value of that one, if it is between 0 and 1, or the B is between 2 and 3. If we'll say that if A if A is lesser than B if we will say if A is lesser than B then if we will say one, two, three, four up to continuous time then We'll see in this relationship that B also is, uh, shall we say, for example, I'm just making it. If A is lesser than B, definitely B is greater than A. You see what I mean? This real number? Now, How do we define this one if it is a whole number, if it is a rational number? Can we understand this truly by plotting this one? Let's see, let's, let's move in clear on this one. Let's go deeper by making it down on the subsets and making it in a, in a, in a table manner and we will break it down, down by down. how it composed. Now, if we see that real number is composed of irrational. Are you with me? And we have also the rational number. The rational number will be 
bring it down to integer number and we have also on the right side we go subset this one here with non integer fraction shall we say negative or positive or positive numbers we have also the integer number here we'll bring it down sub this one to negative Are you with me? Negative integer. And we have on the right side this is whole number. To bring down the whole number we're going to put this one, define this one, compose this one with a natural number. Then we have a zero. Okay, now these are the compositions, the sets of real numbers. Now how, how do we convert this one in symbols so that you would understand really what as there's the real number? How do we put this one five? How do you put this one one third? How do you put this one seven over three? One fourth. Where is negative two? And where is negative three? Okay? Have we get it? Have we understood it? Now, rational numbers, we have to get integer number now as you can see in a linear a linear coordinate in a linear graph integer number we will see that this is combinations from are we finished here are we finished here will i arrange come on come on come on are you with me? I will erase this one so that in order to give back our explanation so that it would be clear for your understanding. Not only this one like that that you will just imagine but to see for yourself how that expressions will vary when you get it to symbols. Now I will erase this one here. We'll erase this one. Now, rational numbers defines that it has an integer number. It has a combination of negative and the whole number. Now, when we define this one in a graph, say for example here, can you read this one? Can you read? It's okay? Can we just get a closer for that, a closer look for this? Now, if we will illustrate this one in a line, number line, and I will uh, point this one with a zero, which is the origin, huh? I will grab it here on the x-axis, 
this is a positive side and we will go on on the knee on the left side this one on the left this would be the axis on the negative x axis which is negative okay now in teachers number define that we have that we have a negative number here negative 1 we have negative 2 and negative 3 and we have also 1 2 3 and 4 now these are the integer negative number tells with negative now this would be one, negative 1 negative 2 and negative 3 that would be the negative integer the whole number since it is including 0 I would say that this is a whole number this is the whole number now natural number is excluding 0 will exclude 0 then that would be the natural number 1 up to go on and go on continuously you understand this one already natural whole number now this is negative integers now what is the non-integer fractions non-integer fractions deals with if we say if we get this relationship this one our presentations this one p over q p over q it could be non-integer fractions that is rational number if it is if the condition say if q is not zero okay shall we say shall we say 1 over 3 1 over 3 it could be point point three 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 so either it would not the ratio of that one is not terminated it 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 stopped no just like that when you're writing with one over five it would be point five so that is an integer fractions it could be also that one that we could be dealing with positive numbers and vice versa if you put also negative aspects when you're dealing on the negative side of it on the non-integer fractions so that is the rational number now according to the rules of irrationality irrational numbers if we will put a ratios there is a certain limit for that one and it will not coincide for example you put pi pi is not a rational number going to the non-integer fractions it's considered that it belongs to a rational number the number of this one is 3.5 14 15 16 just like that then if you if you put to stop on that it would be 3.14 the value of pi now this would be also if you are going to put square root of 2 value of 1.4142 Take for example, it is an irrational number. Pi is equal to 1.4142. Okay? Now, have we understood in that one? Have we understood, by the way? Now, I will say. 
that this is why we plot we plot the points of the real numbers we have already we have already uh, done about plotting of the real numbers as you can see on this one here now respectively we will create because we have already classified it and let's go about one of the properties shall be the way now guys I will ask you to uh, go with me uh, on the next uh, sessions uh, to follow on my next video to continue on this real number uh, explanation and elaboration thank you very much hope you guys uh, you like it and if you need some more classification explanation just give me some comments and uh, subscribe below thank you very much